Okay, we'll do it again. Welcome to my brand design. I bought the Transcend 260 RB, and I'll just begin with a, a simple issue, and then I'll continue with more issues. In order for your Wi-Fi to work, you can't use any of the convenient ports that are inside or the wonderful convenient port that I have outside where my water hose thing is. I've got a outlet out there. I've got the cable thing out there. So I could just tuck my little modem in there. But guess what, folks? <laughs> These ports don't work on the inside. And it's not the modem because now that I have the modem plugged in, to the pole directly outside, which you can't see right now, but it basically is in the RV pole itself. I have to guinea rig it through my window and then I have to put this lovely scotch tape, which I will then have to get off at some point so that I can bring it through my window. And again, no forethought to think, well, maybe our ship will suck on the inside. So maybe we should put a little inlet here so that it's all protected and insulated so people can put things in and out if they need to. No, that's not happening. So my window's open and I've got this bullshit here. I have this, this lovely look and, and, and I get to have all of this, this going down into my bathroom and the modem in here. And then of course, are there any outlets here? Any outlets here? Anything here under here? No, 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 there it is. There it is. There's your one you get for this huge, which I love how big this bathroom is. That's a plus for you. But uh, one outlet in it, you know, two outlet thing. No, no. And then none of your cable outlets that are rigged inside the vehicle for our comfort and ease of use work. So you have to do this bullshit. Many more reviews to come on my grand design. Bye for now.